Okay, we're back here. I have to cut this up into a couple movies so I can get these to fit up onto YouTube. Again, this is a uh, rigging part three. This would be session two. Uh, we've got our controller, we've got our custom attributes, and we've got all of our point groups over here. And we are ready to add some set driven keys to this control. So, uh, under the attribute, animate, excuse me, uh, we're looking for set driven key set. It's going to open up our auction box. And we want to load the driver first, so load driver, and then the driven. We're gonna with the uh, we're gonna use the left foot control to drive out all of this group, so that's always gonna be up here. And we're gonna select on the foot roll group and select load driven. And we're gonna work with the reverse foot in here, although my 11 is a little bit different than 8.5, so bear with me. It likes to deselect these. Anyway, left foot control. We're gonna work with the reverse foot. We're set at zero. Uh, the foot roll group. Now, I just go through here and test these. Uh, we're going to be rotating in the X, you can see right here. And I'm going to undo that and zero everything out. I'm going to select from our control a reverse foot right here. Reverse foot. And then from our foot roll group that's loaded here, um, we're going to rotate it in the X. So I'm gonna, we're all zeroed out. I'm going to set a key. And you can tell that this um, icon turned into a trapezoid. So that means that we have set, uh, we have a set driven key applied. So back in the foot control under the reverse foot option, we're going from zero to 10. I'm going to go all the way up to the top at 10. Under our foot roll group, rotate X. Uh, you can just middle mouse drag on that and lift it up to somewhere that looks good. Uh, then I usually I like to clean these out, so I'm just going to go negative 45. I think that looks good enough uh, for now. So we've got uh, the reverse foot set at 10. The foot roll is at negative 45, and I'm going to key that. So I go back to the foot roll. Now the controller is not parented into this uh, chain yet, so it's not going to really move when we're testing these out. But put our reverse foot down, and make sure our left foot control is selected. And um, I know I'm, this is kind of backwards, but I'm going to work down this way. So the heel twist group, and I'm just going to select E, is going to move you know, the heel from, or move the, from the heel side to side. So in the, sorry, Y direction, you can see right here. I wonder how it is I get that attribute editor up all the time. Okay, so we zeroed this out, and we're going to be working in the rotate Y and heel twist group. So we need to make sure we load the driven heel twist group, rotate Y, and we're working with the twist heel attribute. We're all zeroed out, so I'm going to key that. That looks right. And we got our... Um, Boy, I forget what, the, anyway, our uh, parallel, it's not a parallelogram. Anyway, whatever. Uh, foot control, and now heel twist. Uh, I'm in a just middle mouse button and go up to our 10. So positive 10, I'm going to move it in the positive. Rotate, select the heel twist group, and E, and... That's probably plenty. I'm just, just for this demo, I'm just going to set it at 35. And um, I'm going to key that. I'm going to go back to left foot control and negative 10 here. So it's going to snap back to zero. And I'm setting the twist heel uh, attribute at negative 10. Back in the heel twist group. And I'm going to go negative 35 because we had 35 the other side. So that ought to do it. And make sure you key that one. So, okay. So we've got our heel twist set up. We can click, select on our foot control. And we can middle mouse here. So let's set that back to zero. And make sure we still have our left foot control. And we're moving down. Toe twist group. So we select that. And E, the toe twist is going to move. Uh, should be moving from the toe. Uh oh. Oh. Toe twist. There we go. Had them all selected or something. Um, toe twist group load driven, 
and under the twist toe we control twist toe we're at zero so that's good so zero zero um shoot i forgot I'd make sure we're in the right one here y oh it's good i checked that because i didn't have it zeroed out so we're going to move in the y make sure it's zeroed out there we go toe twist twist toe Rotate Y, we're zeroed out, zeroed out, key. Uh, same thing with the toe twist. We've got negative 10 and positive 10. So twist toe, negative 10. And toe twist, rotate Y. I wonder if that's confusing. Anyway, I'm just going to go negative, uh, negative 25. And make sure toe twist key and back under the foot control twist toe uh oh twist toe ten and rotate y what do we do thirty five Five and key. So, okay, heel lift group. Well, let's go back into here and make zero this out. Heel lift group. Uh, make sure you load the driven and uh, left foot control. Heel lift. Select the control. Heel lift is at zero and we are looking. More likely. Hmm, wonder why that's negative two, that's bad. I hope that doesn't mess up. Anyway, um we're looking for rotate X. Rotate X. Heel lift. Rotate X. We should be zeroed out. And key. Pause this for one second here. Okay, we're back. Sorry, I just had a. I know that's that's already got a group or a constraint on it. Uh, so heel lift and heel lift group rotate X. So we're gonna go back into here and left foot roll, and the heel lift goes up to ten. So we'll put it at ten. We'll click on the group, click E, and we'll see how far we want to crank this guy. Probably not too far. You don't want this joint right here to straighten out too much. So let's just go. That should do it. 45. God, this attribute. What am I doing? Um, and then I'm going to key this one. Oh, shoot. What's this? I'm going to undo that. Left foot control. Oh, I got that. was right. Boy, oh, boy. Forty-five. Key. Okay. And almost, bear with me here, toe lift group. Now the toe lift group is a little bit backwards. It's going to lift the toe upwards. So load driven, and we'll select on the foot control. Lift toe, and toe lift group, load driven. Oops, and yeah, so it's just this. Uh, it's so you can bend the uh, ball of the foot. Boy, I got something set at the Y key. So anyway, um, be careful that uh, you don't do what I did there. That's not good. Hopefully, when I key it back, it should uh, it should be straight. So toe lift group. Uh, sorry, we're rotating X and rotate X. We're in the zero, and I'm gonna key it and I go back to control. And go back to toe lift. Lift toe. Ten. And rotate X. We don't need too much here. Whoops. Wow. 
uh, negative, well, let's say negative 40. And key. All right, so these guys should be all set up. Let's go back here and just double check this. Toe zero. Okay, that didn't get the first key. No big deal. Um, so toe lift group, left foot control, lift toe, lift toe zero. And so I'm just going to go back into this one and select E and make sure this is zero. And then I'm just going to set a key because I know I put this back to zero. Um, double check on it. Lift toe. Lift toe, toe lift group is back to zero, and key. Oh, I had this um, selected wrong, but I don't think that matters. So anyway, okay. So it matters when you select it over here and you give it a value. So all right, so reverse foot, lifts up the heel, stand toe, we didn't do yet, it looks like. And let's just make sure these other ones work. Twist on the toe. Twist from the heel, lift on the toe. So I had some of these keyed wrong, and our heel lift is working. So that's fine. Um, whatever happens, let's go back. And uh, which one's not working? Toe lift. So foot control, toe lift, and when we click on to toe lift group, just want to make sure I got it, and it is, I, I think I had a X, rotate X. I think I must have had something funky selected up here. Um, lift toe key, and foot control, lift toe, 10, and back into here with an E. Why? Oh, I've got my oh, scrub tamp, and here. Negative, what I do, 40? Plenty. Key, did I put the lift toe? Yeah, 10. Okay, so now we have lift toe. Okay, that's working. And what other one was it? Nope, that works. Stand on the toe. Um, that's going to go from our toe here. So let's see. Foot rolls back there, toe twist. And that's what I'm going to drive. And I'm going to drive it with the reverse foot. Stand toe. The toe twist group is just, it's, uh, it's the pivot point is up here in the toe. So I can stand on the toe too, um, just by selecting this guy. And I'm going to be rotating X. So rotate X, stand toe, make sure I'm zeroed out. Key, go back here. Oh, goodness, 0 0.1, whatever. Um, stand toe. Zero, so stand toe, 10, toe twist, group, rotate X, and I'm going to go pretty good, because you're going to be able to bend the ball, too, so let's just say, um, well, I don't want to tweak it, so I'm going to go 35, and I'm going to set a key, and I'm going to say that is most likely done. Okay, so I've got the zero this out, I wonder if I got this. Zero it out. Okay, that's fine. Good. Um, lift toe. Start the top. Heel lift. There we go. Just did lift heel. Twist heel. Twist from the toe. Stand on the toe. Reverse foot. Okay, so we're all set with this one. And uh, basically, the next thing we need to do is um, parent our control over to the IK and um, set up a vector constraint. So let me pause one second.